<laughs> My mom always said it sucks to be bait. Oh, he's jumping, baby! All right, stop, we're good. He's coming this way. the blue presented by yellowfin with captain scott walker and captain steve roger we are going to go and try to catch a few uh these big hammerheads big big yeah ones. big ones you know 10 footers uh, are these 400 the, pounders. Are these the ones that get on the tarpon in the spring, or what? I'm not sure if the ones, that, I, I don't think these, these are the same ones that come up on the flats. I think these guys stay more offshore. They come out there when we're tuna fishing, and it's really cool, man. There's a whole mess of them, and uh, they're always around the boat, eating the tunas, eating the wahoos, uh, chasing the tunas around. Let's do that. I'm tired of looking at these uh, bull sharks. We got us a nice tiger last month. I'd love to see a big hammerhead. Yeah, so we'll go we down We get the there. hammerheads and milkies, but it's always the migrate ones. They're small, 80 to 100. They just mess with you when you're kite fishing that late spring uh, bite. Uh, well, I think these are... You're the, never going to catch them. Yeah, these, these are their parents. <laughs> Let's go. Because uh, these are big guys, and they're not scared of the boat. You know, they're really That's aggressive. Perfect. That's perfect. Uh, you can slide in and take some pictures of them. Yeah, and a day like today, it's pretty rough. Um, We'll get down there and we'll try to do a little shark fishing, Key West style, man. It'll be cool. Teach me something new, baby. We got heavy tackle. You know, you need that stuff. We're out there in 250 feet of water, and these sharks, I mean, they got some power. Are we going to be drifting or anchored? I, I, we might anchor up just to try to catch some tunas, yeah. which might help bring them around. So we, we can might like throw our anchor ball yep. and leave it there, right? Yep, we can throw off the ball and chase them down if we have to. All right, well, I, let's see if we can do it, stand up on anchor, turn them. Yep. You know, let's have some fun with this. We have a 100-pound braid, this nice Seaguar with the 100, 150-pound fluorocarbon. Yeah, so I got that Seaguar 130 on there. So Let's try doing it from a dead boat first. All right. Put me on a fatty. All right, brother. Let's go catch us some shots. Giddy up. Walker, just keep your eyes open for it. I'm looking 10 feet out, 10 feet to the right. Yeah, baby. Look at him diving out to the left a little bit in the mud. Hard to catch bait on days like this. The water's so dirty, the birds can't even find it. Big stingray back there making the mud behind us. Keeping the grass clean. Keep mowing the grass, mowing the grass. His eyes are a little bit older. I got to get up here and see what's going on. Want me to throw on faith? Yeah, throw on faith. I got plenty in me. Nope. Nope. You're done. up. I got four or five pinfish. I got a good load again, Scott, just like that last one. Steve, what throw you on? I don't know. I'm tired, baby. <laughs> when it's dirty like this, you just got to throw it and throw it and throw it. I think I've logged 25 thro throws so far. Do you want to pick up 20 right there for me? <laughs> nope, I just picked up 50 back here. <laughs> Coming up. We need a mate. Big money. Whammy. Daisy Walker. Got 200. Nothing? Got 200 in that pothole right there. About time, wearing me out. The harder the bait. The better the fishing. We are going to crush him today then, bro. <laughs> you know, you get that south wind, Scott, and it blows and blows, and it just turns this water up so dirty. I'm looking at it right now. I can't see the bottom in two feet. So I mean, 18 inches in this boat right now. Yeah, what we call this is blind casting. You just throw and throw. Huh? The birds can't see them. You can't see them. You just go where you think they are, where they're traditionally at, and you just got to work through it. I mean, some days it's two throws. Some days it's 50 throws. Yep, well, we're getting and ready And today to is one of those 50 throw days. I like it, two throws and goes. Scott, I'm done, cuz. If you're Ooh. done, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you, you need us over that sandbar, I'll clean this mess up. Right. Deal? Deal.
Oh, I like what I see over here. Shark bait. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Mercury. By Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. And by Under Armour. Costa Sunglasses and Key West. So Scott, what we're gonna do down here is, traditionally we always kingfish and tuna fish down here and we see a lot of big hammerheads. And uh, I'm thinking if we can try to catch a few fish, you know, some kingfish or some bonitas or anything, just kind of get it fired up, we'll cut them up and, and we should be able to attract the sharks. I brought a couple bonitas here. Get started? Yeah, that are frozen, which will work all right, but, you know, obviously that fresh is better, you know. So I'm gonna hang these over the side, and we're gonna try to catch some fresh kings or whatever we can get a hold of, and uh, from there we'll see what we can show them up. You're gonna take cut sides off of them and stick their heads over and let them start soaking in there while we, uh, yep, I just, catch some fresh bonitas and kings. Yep, exactly. And then, you know, these, these sharks are just one of my favorite, just big, you know, Beautiful hammerheads. I mean, some of these guys are 10 foot long, 400, 500 pounds, so. Well, we got a rod for every size. Let's yeah, just find out which one. We brought the tackle for him, so. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm all about it. I'm uh, going to twist up a little kingfish wire. Mm -hmm. Number four. Yeah, just one the lighter those, uh, the better. One O's, two O's, one O's. Yeah, them one O's, and we got, um, you know, there could be wahoos in here. There could be anything in here, so. All right, so it'll be fun. You don't leave the dock any day since I've been fishing without at least two bonitas on the boat. Just to have something to start in case until we start catching them ourselves, if you want to get the chum line started, you got a fresh bonita, fresh frozen bonita to start the chum line, and then we get a, a real bonita, real mackerel, and go from there. Well, King mackerel, gonna be part of the chum. Bait. That hook did not come out very difficultly. Mm. <laughs> He's going right on the chum line, huh? Not his lucky day. One for me. A little bigger bait, bigger bait. <clears throat> Woo! What you got, buddy? Wahoo or what? I don't think the wahoo's are here yet. They will be. Water's the right color. Snake or zero? Snake. All right. Boy, you ate that jig. <laughs> I don't even see it. Can we grab him? I got it. <laughs> My mom always said it sucks to be me. Might look pretty gory to a lot of people, but you know, that fresh bait, as soon as we started catching those mackerel, I took that knife and sliced them on the side, over the side, just to let every ounce of blood, instead of landing in the boat, land over the side, get that water nice and bloody. All those things really help get those sharks fired up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to tail this one for me. It's a big old king. Here's some good fillets. Oh, I like what I see over here. Shark bait. Went from being a top predator to bait. All in about two minutes. Learn that cooking onions. <laughs> That's way more efficient. That is a good chum line you got going there. Chunks and blood. What you got, buddy? It's, it's not a kingfish. Do you have horsepower? Nope, but it is dinner. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Talking along that bucktail? Wire? Wire, no bait. Another first. You know what we're going to do with that? That new recipe we got? Oh, yeah. Want well, to grab them for me? <laughs> He's going right into the Yeti. Man, he's got a lot of color. Not, not very deep here, huh? No, nah, that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Sometimes all, all that work for bait. Hey, that's that, what I like it, about shark fishing in Key West. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to like shark fishing in Key West. I'm got sure. two hammerheads now. Oh, one yeah? There and one over there. There's one right behind the boat. We need, how many more bait we need? We need to start feeding them. 
Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. By Simrad and the new NSS Sport Touchscreen Display. And by Marine Formula Stable, Isla Mirada, Tailwalker Charters, and Plano. Yeah, buddy. Oh! <laughs> I... Oh, and he pulled. Have a... Cero macro. Nice, Cero. That's my favorite. There he is. You got another one? Give me a second try. I've got one fillet for me. The rest is for the shark. Hey, that... No, no, no. Put him in the cooler. All right. <laughs> That's good eating right there, buddy. It's one of my favorite right there. See, you were probably depressed when I said I'm taking you shark fishing. <laughs> Well, you gotta catch the bait. Yeah, I look depressed. I'm the happiest guy you've ever met. Got you some more bait, baby. Another kinger. Kinger for the stringer. You wanna grab him? Yeah. Rod's just a little bit. I say you just leave him lay right in the back, you know what I mean? Okay. Knock the slime off. <laughs> Straighten the wire. Is that how you do it in the, back in the golf? That's how you do it in the golf, buddy. <laughs> I'm Got sure. two hammerheads now. Oh, one yeah? there and one over there. There's one right behind the bike. We need, how many more bait we need? They just start feeding <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're going to eat my live bait. Double header. You all right? Yeah, buddy. Big old tuner. Big tuner. It's a beautiful black fin, buddy. Yeah, On wire. Good job. Yeah, man, we tail him for me. I can't believe he's got all of his parts. <laughs> there's, some, there's dinner. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's still on. Ah, I put it down and he ate it. All right, here. I'll take that. Nice. Thank you. Go get yours. Oh, hold that over the side, man. Let that blood hit the water. Is this going to help with the sharks? Oh, yeah. I'll squeeze a little bit. Oh, yeah. Two for one. Dinner and shows. Show's on the way. Oh, look at that, crimson. <clears throat> actually catching fish nonstop. And we actually had the hammerhead in our slick as soon as we came tight on anchor. And you uh, threw the set of chum overboard. We thought it was like a gimme, but as time uh, went on, you see how smart those fish are. I mean, every time that shark would try to swim up there to grab that bait, he, uh, he'd back away from it uh, because of that wire. You know, I, I feel that they got all those receptors in the front of that in that hammer, and uh, that wire is really something they can sense. Well, you know, we we set up two shark fish for the day. Everything else was a, a bonus, all these nice fish for dinner. But we set up three outfits. You know, we had 80 in case we saw one over 500. And then we had two smaller ones that are a little more fun to play with. And, you know, I was going to rig them all up with 15 wire, but, you know, you caught me before I did and had me using eight, nine, and 10 because uh, they are so shy to the leader. And it turned out, most of the day, they wouldn't even look at the number eight wire. Yeah. So a lot, a if we'd have been rigged for a normal shark fishing on my boat, we'd have never got a bite. We were trying to get that bite right up on the surface to show everybody how, you know, how aggressive the shark can be and how cool it is, how he can spin and feed real fast. Um, so what, that, didn't, that didn't materialize for us, so what we ended up doing was just drifting the bait back. I don't know if you remember, but uh, I was drifting one back there, and I mean, it was way back. The line took off. I don't know if you had a tuna on or what you were doing at the time, but I, I threw it into gear and uh, fought the thing for a while and couldn't really figure out what we had. Big old amberjack, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, and that, I wonder where you're going with that. <laughs> yeah, that was a monster amberjack. He didn't mind eating the wire on that sinking bait. Kobe? Oh, an amberjack. Oh my God, look at the size of that thing. I'm like, man, what is that? That is the biggest amberjack I've ever seen in 10 years. So we got a question on Facebook. A fella caught a fish with his son, wants to get it mounted, and he asked, where, where should he go? Well, with us, there's no doubt about it. We've been using King Sailfish for years. They are the innovator with the release mount. You know, back in the day, you used to have to kill the fish to have the fish mounted. Well, now, King Sailfish mount has a warehouse slap full of molds. So it, whether it be a sailfish, a marlin, or down to a small freshwater fish, a bass or a crappie, these guys have the mold for everything. The detail with these guys is so in-depth. I mean, the downturned eye, 
the pecs, the colors of the fish. You know, we spend a lot of time around these fish. They need to look right. The colors need to be right, and these guys nail it. Another cool thing, you don't have to know at the time that you caught the fish that, it, that you're gonna mount this fish. These guys are so good that you can send them a photograph. They will go ahead and determine the length, the girth, and the size of the fish and actually make you a replica. So if you got some fisherman on your Christmas list or you got some old memory of a fish you caught way back when and you wanna have that mounted because you got this man cave built now, these guys can do it. You know, I have many fish that I haven't had mounted yet that I'm still going to have mounted just waiting for the wife to say okay and give me the wall space. Um, but that's where we're gonna go with it because what I want is a realistic looking fish and that's what these guys do. It is a beautiful piece of art and something you can enjoy forever. Um, you know, these guys were trusted to do the world record black marlin, some 1,500 pounds. So to answer your question, King Sailfish Mounts is our choice. Now if you have any other questions, send them to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'd love to answer them. Oh, he's jumping, baby! All right, stop, we're good. He's coming this way. He's going berserk. Oh, he's don't start speeding up on me again, baby. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo! Sailfish! Sailfish! Careful what you wish for, Walker. Woo! That's everything but a shock. <laughs> Where are you going, little man? Slow down! What you got on there, wire? No, no wire? I got your little beauty piece. No crap, he's mad. He is so angry. Dude, that is sick. Wanna go chase him? No, not yet. You know what happens if we gotta go chase him? You know his line is coming down his boat. He was a 25 pound. There's a shark. Yeah. <laughs> he is not coming his way. That 25 pound leader is gonna let go. It, selfish would make a hell of a day. Sun going down. My favorite fish on earth. I'm on the mono. Start the motors in, bro. You ain't got much mono. You still got him? Yeah. All right, go ahead, put it reverse that way. Speeding up on me again, baby! I'm still jumping! When do you want to do it? Turn this around? Yeah, which way? I don't know, I gotta get this green. Oh, look, he's bigger than he looks! Oh, he's jumping, he's airing it out! <laughs> I got no drag on him! You got line or what? Yes, I got line! Still on top, look at him. I'll cut the wheel back down, see? Good. I'm back on the braid, baby! Oh, there's a giant hammerhead chasing my fish. Put your marlin bait back out. <laughs> Little starboard. He didn't like that hammerhead. Here comes the hammerhead. Awesome. Oh, you got it. Get a bite. Oh, he's on you. That's awesome. <laughs> The whole tuna? Yeah. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. I can't believe that you got that hammerhead on. That's the coolest bite I've ever seen He's in my like life. Fired up. He's fired up. I'm getting ready to really, really get on my sail. And I look back and there's a, a tuna skipping in the way. And you're connected to it. That's unbelievable. I might not land this shark before you land that sailfish. He's here, baby. He's here. Lead her up. Bring him on this side. I am, baby. There's my leader! <laughs> I own you! Oh yeah. Oh. You work all day, and here's the rewards. 
Double header of everything we want. It's not your average double. <laughs> Thought you were gonna let it go for me. You're a little busy, see? I could, but I have to stick this in the rod holder. That's all right, I got this now. All right, all right. Oh, that's the strongest 25 pound test ever. Got you. Oh. You need scissors? Right here. You got them or what? You got to see if he, I thought it was a small one, but I was wrong, as usual. No, oh, beautiful fish. All right. Turn him loose, man. I'm trying. Swim, baby. All right, I'm clear. Now I can do some captain stuff. As the leader comes on, here comes our hammerhead, baby. There he is. Nice fish. There he is. One more time around. Spin him around. Look at that T. Oh, who's your daddy? That's right, Steve Roger. Wait, Scotty. Oh, he's mad. Ugh. That's a cool fish, man. There's no doubt nice about job. it. That eyeball is awesome. Mm. You got him? I'm gonna turn him loose, all right? Whenever you're ready. Ah. One more time. Awesome, man. Here he goes. <laughs> Sweet, dude. <laughs> what a double header. That's a good double. <laughs> done with this? Done with that. You're going to catch the next one. Not me. I think that'll be another day. <laughs>